so I was just playing around, messing around. This is a customer order for a one deal, one shot on a Christmas stocking. She wanted this font. It's a very simple font. There's not a lot of variations in the thickness of anywhere. So it's really simple. I'll show you a, a little easy way, a simple way to make a simple satin stitch font. And what I did is I created the text to follow. And then I turned the opacity down so I can see what I'm doing over the top. We, we've been here before. But check this out. So far, this seems to be working. The stitch out will be the, the final judge on it. But I'm just going to follow this letter around right in the middle. Keep it as close as you can to right in the middle. Zoom way in if you need to. Do a lot of little little clickies, a lot of, a lot of little nodes. Now when you get to here, hit your enter button to make it. Click the nodes edit button so you get all the nodes. Control A will select all the nodes. And then I'm going to come up here and click the uh, make selected nodes smooth. So that it rounds them out. And you have to, you might have to move one or two here and there. Just to make sure that you're good. Nice and smooth. Now, I got my width from the very first letter. And once you start, remember what width you're using. So you can use that same width on every letter. This particular project, I'm at 2.2 on width. And this doesn't come together, so I'm going to make it come together a little better. I'm going to select, multi-select these two nodes and put one in the middle. And then I'm going to run this in a little bit more. Pull this down a little bit. Pull this one down a little bit. Okay, that covers up pretty good. I like it. So now that I've done that, all I'm going to do is let Ink Stitch make my satin stitch. Satin tools, convert line to satin. Boom. Satin stitch. Have to make a few minor edits. I'm going to click this, make this run in just a little bit more. I'm going to click that one and multi-click that one. I'm going to delete those two so that it's just these two. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Okay, I like it. Okay, I like that. And then over here on this side, and then select it. Start inside of the next letter and just pull these in like so. Beautiful. What a beautiful letter. All right. That's it. I, I just made a satin stitch letter E. Really, really easy. And to see what it all looks like. Uh, wrong button. Okay, that one. Oh, and since I have multiple paths, sometimes when you convert a line to satin stitch, it will cut into separate paths as part of that process. I'm just going to group those so that my letter E is in its own group, H is its own group, C is its own group. This text is standard text. It won't take, it won't, uh, it won't stitch out if you try to do anything. It's going to give you an error. So I'm just going to select my letters, my uh, satin stitch letters, and then we're going to visualize that. So I've made all of these letters in that same exact method. Go to click the realistic. Looks pretty good on, on the uh, visualizer. 
it looks pretty good i'm gonna show you another one we'll do the w and on the w you still have to do you still have to think about your running stitches so we're going to do a running stitch up to the top of this this part of the w go in and select dotted line so that's my running stitch now we can go from the top and just make our way down doing the exact same method trying to keep in the middle I'm kind of going to do the same thing. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to stop there. Go to my nodes tool. Control A to select all. Hit smooth it. Set my width. Come on. 2.2. Looks pretty good. We'll move these over a little bit. It's kind of a cheater way to do it, but it it seems to work pretty good. Okay, that's it. Convert line to satin. Boom. Now I'm gonna edit this up here so that it's a smooth top. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. I'm actually gonna pull this one down a little bit. Okay. And then same thing here. I'm going to start somewhere right about here. Uh, maybe not that much. And then just pull these in a little bit. And then do another running stitch. Do my main stitch. nodes tool control a round it see how it looks 2.2 now you see i'm missing right here a little bit so i'm going to extend that up and the rest of that should be okay Let's get that to come up a little more and convert. Same thing, I'm going to pull this up a little bit and then running stitch. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get that dotted line. I'm going to edit. Same thing here. I'm going to pull this one down. Run this one up a little bit. Good, good. Okay. Now on this one, I want this one to end at the bottom right so that it can just pick up right here and come across and if it doesn't i'll show you how to switch it i did it in another video but we'll we'll do it again if it if it does that don't really need to smooth that one so i'm just going to go straight into the 2.2 we're going to run this down a little bit uh, okay go ahead and convert ink stitch Satin tools, convert line to satin. Edit these nodes, bring this one down a hair, bring this one up a hair. 
Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Now, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and hit params so I can see where the where the last stitch is ending. Make sure it's on the right side. It is. It's on the bottom. If not, if it if the last stitch was ending over here on the top side, if that was the case, just go to extensions, ink stitch, satin tools, and flip satin column rails. That'll flip that column around so that it ends on the other side. But it's good. Don't have to do that. So I'm just going to go from there and then come right down here. This one looks a little less than the 2.2 that I've been doing. I'm going to make this one a 2. And then, then we'll go ahead and convert. Actually, I want to smooth that one out. Control A to select all the nodes and then smooth out. Okay, that's fine. Now, extensions, ink stitch. Satin tools, convert line to satin. Nodes tool, which I'm already on. Drag this up. Didn't get a hold of the node. Drag this one up in. I'm going to delete that one, delete that one, and then pull this one down. I'm going to select this node and then make it not wrap around okay I could probably delete another node here Okay, then we'll do the same thing. We'll take these, start pulling these up. Okay, our W is done. And all of these, from the last one that I grouped all the way up, is my W so I'm just gonna select all those and group now I have a W group now I'm gonna keep doing this I've only got two letters done I'm gonna keep doing this speed it up and then we'll look at it at the end Okay, not bad. This little jump across, I'm going to have to do something with that. It doesn't look very good. Other than that, the rest of it looks fine. And the reason that I made the dot on the eye last is in case your machine doesn't trim, that'll be a real easy trim to be able to get a little pair of scissors into from that long of a jump and then that's the last thing to stitch so there's not going to be anything stitching over the top of it that's why I did that so I'm going to fix this right here and I'm going to take it to the machine and test run it see what it looks like 
see what I can do with that one piece. I don't know why it's looking so bad. Oh, we are missing. Uh huh. When you don't run troubleshoot, so I have a I have a uh, rail not crossing, not properly crossing. So that's probably why it looks like it does. So let's see if that looks a little better. Just going to do a params, little params preview. See if that looks a little better. And it does. It looks much better. So now I'm going to take this to the machine out there and we're going to stitch it out, see what it looks like. Oh, as you can see, it actually turned out pretty darn nice for a first sample run. That is actually really good. I'm I'm happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching.